In the realm of ancient Mongolian legends lived Kutulun, a formidable warrior. Defying norms, she challenged noble suitors to wrestle for her hand. With unmatched skill, she emerged victorious time and time again, earning a tribute of a hundred gallant steeds. Tales of her audacious quest and prowess spread far and wide, intertwining her name with the indomitable spirit she embodied. Ten thousand horses became a testament to her unrivaled might, forever etching her legend. Born unto Kaidu Khan, a ruler deeply rooted in the nomadic traditions of the steppes, she emerged as a remarkable figure. With her unrivaled equestrian skills and marksmanship, Kutulun embodied the essence of her heritage. Amidst her fourteen brothers, she fearlessly embarked on a journey of a traditional Mongol education, painting her legacy with the vibrant colors of a bygone era. The very essence of her being bore the weight of her ancestry, for she was the great-great-granddaughter of the indomitable Genghis Khan, revered leader of a realm that stretched far and wide. Her appellation, Kutulun, held profound significance, whispered upon the wind like a secret shared only by the heavens. In ancient tongues, it echoed the melody of Kutuk, a word resplendent with the essence of joy and felicity. Yet another epithet graced her noble presence, Kutulun Chagan, an ethereal designation, a name that danced upon the lips of those who beheld her valor. As a beacon of resilience and bravery, Kutulun traversed the path of warriors guided by the footsteps of her father's army. She embodied the spirit of combat, a fierce warrior in her own right, her skills honed to perfection. With each skirmish and every grapple she painted the battlefield with her prowess, weaving a tapestry of triumph upon the canvas of her lineage. Amidst her resolute pursuits, Kutulun garnered yet more titles each bestowed upon her like a crown of whispered admiration, the Kotol Tsagan Gunj, she was christened, the all-white princess, a vision of purity and grace that evoked reverence among her people. Furthermore, Ayaruk, she was known, a luminary of the night, her radiance akin to the gentle moonbeam that bathes the world in its ethereal glow. Born of the bloodline that intertwined with the legacy of Ogede Khan, Kutulun embodied the strength and tenacity that coursed through her veins. Her father, Kaidu, waged battles and bore arms in allegiance to the house of Ogede, a testament to the unwavering loyalty that coursed through her noble lineage. In the annals of the Middle East and Italy, an extraordinary tale emerged, chronicled by the pens of Marco Polo, Rashid al-Din, and Ibn Battuta. It was a tale that resonated with awe and admiration. Marco Polo Captivated by her charm and mesmerized by her skillful prowess in martial arts, described her as a stunning beauty. Kaidu Khan, an astute observer, recognized her exceptional potential and enlisted her as his battle companion. Amidst the tumultuous clash against the Yuan dynasty, Kutulun, with unyielding determination, made an audacious proclamation that reverberated across the lands. She declared that she would pledge her hand in marriage to any man capable of overpowering her in a wrestling match. This audacious dare galvanized countless men to step forward and accept the challenge. Okutalun, however, sought a unique prize for her victories. A hundred horses would be hers if she emerged triumphant, a testament to her insatiable hunger for glory and her unwavering commitment to her craft. Her legendary exploits as a formidable female wrestler and athletic marvel reverberated throughout the ages, inspiring countless artistic masterpieces. One such opus, the opera Turandot, crafted by the gifted Italian composer Giacomo Puccini in 1926, bore the indelible marks of her enduring legacy, particularly in the tapestry of European admiration during the illustrious 18th century. Marco Polo's accounts paint her as a towering figure, swift and agile. She possessed a hawk-like ability to approach her foes, swiftly capturing or vanquishing them. Her strength surpassed all men in her father's kingdom and neighboring lands, as attested by Polo. Rashid al-Din's records reveal Kutulun's unconventional attire, often donning garments traditionally worn by men. Her courage manifested in her active participation in numerous wars, earning her father's trust and important responsibilities. Unlike her sisters, she remained faithfully by her parents' side until the very end, dutifully handling administrative duties. However, 
envy and malice reared their ugly heads as Kutulun became the target of baseless rumors propagated by jealous individuals, including Mongols, Tatars, and Turkic tribal leaders. These rumors aimed to undermine her reputation by falsely alleging an incestuous relationship with her father, Kaidu. Accompanying her father, Kaidu Khan, to the battlegrounds, Kutulun stood by his side during the tumultuous Kaidu Kublai War that spanned over five decades. Despite having numerous sons, Kaidu supposedly turned to Kutulun for counsel, bypassing his sizable progeny. According to Marco Polo, Kutulun's exceptional combat skills allowed her to effortlessly conquer her adversaries, akin to a hawk seizing its prey, wrestling as a marriage challenge to men. Driven by his deep love for Kutulun, Kaidu Khan harbored grand aspirations of uniting her with a Mongol prince. However, Kutulun resolutely declined his proposal, reserving her commitment for a man who could match her in strength and prowess. Powerless to sway his daughter's decision, Kaidu issued a remarkable decree granting Kutulun the autonomy to choose her own spouse, undeterred by the possibility of wrestling matches challenging men from far and wide. According to the accounts of Marco Polo, Kutulun's true desire did not lie in matrimony. Instead, she offered a unique condition for potential suitors, challenging them to wrestling bouts as a prerequisite for marriage. Yet, none proved capable of besting her. Kutulun extended her challenge to the sons of noble Mongol and Turkic families, decreeing that they must engage in wrestling matches if they sought her hand. The stakes were high, with the defeated suitors obliged to relinquish 100 horses as a penalty. Astonishingly, it is said that Kutulun amassed a staggering 10,000 horses through this arrangement. In 1280, a wealthy nobleman who had gained favor with Kaidu Khan presented 1,000 horses in an attempt to win Kutulun's affection. Kaidu advised his daughter to feign defeat. However, Kutulun, unyielding in her strength, lifted the nobleman and cast him to the ground. Overwhelmed and disheartened, the nobleman was left in a state of profound distress. Despite such persistent proposals, Kutulun steadfastly refused marriage, thereby fueling malicious rumors of an inappropriate relationship with her father. Finally, in 1296, Kaidu relinquished his daughter to Abtakul, a formidable warrior hailing from the Khoros clan. According to Rashid al-Din, it was Kutulun herself who chose Abtakul as her spouse. Yet, in the depths of her heart, Kutulun's love belonged to Ghazan Khan, the seventh ruler of the Mongol Empire's Ilkhanate. As chronicled by the historian al-Din, Kutulun later resided in Tarsakand and Karabalik, where she bore two sons. Four years following Kutulun's marriage, in the year 1300, Kaidu assembled a mighty army to challenge the supremacy of the great Yuan state, known as the Yeke Yuan Ulus. He encountered the forces of Kulu Khan, who would later be known as Emperor Wuzong of Yuan, in the momentous Battle of Tekelik. This clash became a monumental and fiercely fought episode in Mongol Empire history. Alas, Kaidu was unable to secure victory and sustained grave injuries at the hands of Kulu Khan's army. A month later, in 1301, Kaidu succumbed to his wounds at Lake Taikan. Kutulun, the trailblazing first female Khan, gradually became her father Kaidu's trusted confidant and political ally as he advanced in age. Being her father's most cherished child, there were rumors that Kaidu intended to designate her as his successor before his untimely demise in 1301, succumbing to an injury. Nevertheless, Kaidu Khan's decision was met with resistance from his male relatives, even before his passing. Her right to inherit was vehemently challenged by Dua, a kinsman, and other brothers from the Chagatai Khanate. In the vicinity of Songkulik Mountain, Kutulun, alongside her brother Orus and husband Abtakul, resided and dutifully protected the graves of her father and family. Orus, who had also been endorsed as the heir by Kaidu, received Kutulun's unwavering support. Kutulun joined forces with Orus against Chapa's faction, inadvertently contributing to Dua's consolidation of power in Central Asia. In 1306, when Chapa raised an army to confront Dua of the Chagatai Khanate, Kutulun led a force of 1,000 men to support Chapa's cause, but suffered defeat. Tragically, Kutulun fell victim to an assassin dispatched either by Dua or Chapar in the same year. 
Her defiance of both contenders in favor of Aurus ultimately cost her life.